Hello. We recently included an article on EEAT in our What's Hot Wednesday newsletter. For further insights on what this means for optimization, I'm here with our head of SEO, Mark Engelsman. Hi, Mark. Hey, Nat. So what's up with EAT? First off, EAT has been around for quite a while now. It has an acronym for expertise, authority, and trust. And we've been leveraging the template of EAT for quite a while now as well to develop relevant and quality content for our clients. And we've been rewarded for doing that in the rankings. But now Google's evolved to wanting more helpful content. So they've evolved the acronym to be double EAT or experience, expertise, authority, and trust. And I think it's their way of saying double EAT or be eaten in the rankings by those who are double eating better than you. Isn't expertise and experience redundant? Why add that extra E? That's a good question. Many people are noting that the timing of this additional E comes when Microsoft launched ChatGPT. Of course, it's a little ironic because Google now has launched its own AI called BARD. And I think Google maybe was trying to say that AI does not equal E or E doesn't equal AI in the equation. But I do think that the idea of experience is an important factor in terms of developing more helpful content. So how do you demonstrate experience on a website? Well, the Stanford Laboratory for Web Credibility says that you can do it by adding um, more robust about us sections to your website, or maybe by adding um, more frequent updates to your content or leveraging um, more user friendliness and making the website itself more helpful. I think, however, it's more likely to think of experience and creating helpful content when you're actually showing little human experiences or demonstrating human experiences. You know, like things like blogs or POVs or reviews that are really human and really can't be generated by AI. Oh, so you mean doing things like this video blog? <laughs> yes, I think that's exactly right, Natalie. And I think my work here is done now. Not so fast, Mark. You haven't talked about the concept of double E and how it may be changing DBE's approach to SEO. I wouldn't exactly say changing our approach to SEO. I think it's more of an evolution of our approach to SEO. Just like Google's evolving, we need to evolve too. And you know that we've already been talking with a number of our clients about adding more video content to their websites. And I think the idea of using video to demonstrate the experience of a product in action or the experience of people using that product in the form of testimonials or reviews or the like would be very helpful. And then you also have the ability to demonstrate experience through social media posts. You know, we've been using social media for SEO validation for a while now, but we could be using more reviews and trying to generate more shares and more likes, and maybe even building more Google business profiles to demonstrate experience as well. Thanks, Mark, for taking the time for doing this with me today. Thank you to our viewers. We welcome your comments, your questions about double E or general SEO. Till next time. Bye.